I sort of think, um, all things considered, yesterday, yesterday's um, sort of venture into Polish territory was was a little bit of a pedestrian start to, to my to my experimental week. Because actually, yeah, it was a Polish shop, but it was ultimately sorrel in a jar, <laughs> um, and I've cooked sorrel before, so I kind of I don't think I cheated, but because um, I did it in a Polish way, but. It wasn't an ingredient that was completely, completely um, bizarre to me. So today I'm going to head to Brick Lane and, and try and um, be a bit more adventurous. I'm braving the, the rain to go, uh, go on my bike down to Brick Lane, um, see what I can find in Taj stores that might uh, disgust me or excite me or inspire me. Let's uh, go. Cool. Not sure of the legality of this. Um, I come here quite a lot, and I think a lot of people come to these sorts of shops quite a lot. But they tend to just get stuff, regular stuff, rice and spices. I mean, look, here we've got all the more rice than you can ever imagine. So he wasn't, wasn't that happy about me filming in here, but I've managed to twist his arm. Um, I come here quite a lot, and I think a lot of people come to these sorts of shops quite a lot. But they tend to just get stuff, regular stuff, rice and spices. I mean, look, here we've got all the more rice than you can ever imagine. And it's such a great place to come and get spices because you can get them in bulk for a fraction, a fraction of the price you get in, um, in the supermarket. So look here, we've got a big, big bag of cardamom, £2.49. Such a bargain, and, and any spice you need. So find the weirdest curry recipe, and it'll be in here. Look at all this; it's just fantastic. But I'm not here for uh, spices. I have some weird shit. So let's have a look. And what, what's this here? This stuff. Stomach, yeah. right. Well, that was pretty alarming. Um, so I bought some lamb gut, and I'm <laughs> pretty intrigued as to what I'm going to do. Ah, rain with it. So, um, so I have to go back and have a look on the internet and work it out. But I am a little bit uh, scared about what's going to happen next. Lamb guts for lunch. Yummy. have lamb intestines, a heart, lungs, kidney, liver, some 18th century condoms, uh, some sausages, babies. They smell like fish. Uh. So it turns out um, lamb intestines really are useful for nothing but sausages. Uh, they will get used, but I'm now back on Brick Lane <laughs> in search of other goods. Um, hopefully I'm going to take the lamb intestines to the butcher on, on Thursday and uh, make some sausages, if that's allowed. Um, Let's see what we get in here. Oh, what a shame, they wouldn't let me film in there. Anyway, I got in and I looked around and I looked at the vegetables and, um, and I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna use these intestines and I'm gonna make my own sausages. So I've bought a lamb heart and I bought some, some minced lamb and I'm gonna mix it with spices and then use my um, piping bag to, to pipe it into the intestines. That's the plan anyway. Um, <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. I'll see you at home. And that can go into our mixing bowl. Into that would be great. Half a medium onion. Oh, minutes. Lamb and a clove of garlic. So we want to toast a teaspoon of fennel seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and two teaspoons of coriander seed. Don't you see that? Add the ground spices to your mix. Pepper and a pinch of salt. Okay, and get in there. 
Oh, forgotten, forgotten. Oh, chili flakes. About half a teaspoon. Yeah, good half a teaspoon of those. And then mix. And that is our sausage mix. So cut the corner off a freezer bag and hoi in your uh, sausage mix. Is this even going to work? It might bloody work after all. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to need another hand for this. Fuck, how am I going to do this? I'm going to need another hand for this. No, <laughs> that's not going to work. Bollocks. Fuck it. So I've solved the insertion problem by fashioning some sort of, some uh, little mm. device with some tin foil and tape. Very blue piece of this. Alright, for fuck's sake. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever done, I think. The pumping device. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I've managed to find my piping bag. Uh. And so I'm hoping this time, this will be a uh, fourth time, fifth time, seventh time, lucky. Something like that. It's been um, quite a struggle today, but that's what it's all about, isn't it? I can't do these bloody sausages. Oil going in. Operation make more slippery. This really is the last attempt before I met defeat. Uh, I've made the mince more slippery. I've got to get this friggering thing on, and then I'm going to give it a go. And if that doesn't work, um, it's it's been an unmitigated disaster. Here goes nothing. Ah. Here we go. We've got action. There's some sort of blockage. Do the final bit. Final thought. It was going, it was going so well, and then I uh, tried to push the sausage meat down further just to thicken out the sausage, and I split the um, casing. And this is what I ended up with. Cause it all fell out. So I've now got a sausage that is slowly <laughs> splitting further down the side. It's really tragic, but I'm going to cook what I've got. I'm going to show you all. It's a real fuck up there. <laughs> this is the fruit of an afternoon's labour. It's a slightly depressing piece of fruit, but um, it was an interesting experiment. And I guess part of the reason for this, for this ethnic experiment I'm doing this, this week is, is to see how convenient things can be. And actually we go to Tesco and we go to Asda when actually around the corner we've got things which are much more convenient. This was not convenient. And sausages are meant to be convenient foods. So even though I struggled on with my uh, intestine as the centerpiece of this, of today's um, piece, I'm glad uh, I've discovered that making your own sausages without the requisite kit is not that easy. How does it taste? My heart and lamb sausage. Okay, not the most disgusting thing I've eaten, certainly not the nicest, but um, a lesson has been learned, so thanks.